Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be sharing with you our new and updated 4-2-3-1 custom tactics as this is one of the most popular formations in the game and we want to keep you updated with the best tactics that you can use for this formation. Now we have tried something a little bit different with these tactics and instructions and it's actually worked incredibly well so we're really happy with how this result has come out so we wanted to share it with all of you guys. So as always, to show your support, make sure that you hit that like button, make sure that you subscribe, but most importantly, make sure that you hit that notifications bell so that you know exactly when we release new videos. So of course, the 4231 is one of the most popular formations in the game. It's a formation that we always recommend people go to when they're struggling. So if you're going through a bit of a tough patch, you're struggling to get wins, you're struggling to just kind of find your form, things aren't quite going well. This is always a great formation to drop back into. It's tough to break down, but yet it's really, really good offensively if you're someone that likes to play with pace, if you're someone that likes to play lots of tiki-taka passing. It suits lots of different play styles, yet it's quite difficult to break down. So it really suits a good foundation just to get back into those winning ways, and then maybe you can expand into some of the more you know difficult formations that are a bit harder to use that you kind of need to be in that flow to be using. So when it comes to the tactics, these are the tactics that we've been using for this 4-2-3-1. And we've wanted to just try out a little bit of a press all year. We've said we don't recommend using a press, but it's something that we've just wanted to try and just see if it's working at the moment. And actually, going on press on possession loss was a little bit too extreme, especially when we paired it with the direct passing. You were left a little bit too exposed too frequently was what we found. So we tried pressure on heavy touch, so it didn't press every single time we lost possession, which obviously happens quite a lot on a game-to-game -game basis. It only pressured in certain scenarios, and that kind of really worked very, very well. So we're still able to like play very, very attacking, very aggressive, whilst only being exposed you know, on occasion when people did you know, play against that press. The thing about playing on a press, the higher level opponents will play out of that press more consistently, you know, more often against sort of mid to, to low tier quality players, a press works better because they don't react fast enough, they don't know where to go with the ball. But obviously the higher opposition, it doesn't work as well. So it really depends on your skill level. If you're a high level player, press probably won't work as as much. If you're a mid to low level player, pressure, pressure any type of pressure works very, very well. So it depends on your skill level where, where, whether this will work or not. In terms of the defensive style, we've gone for 45. The depth on 55, just obviously when you're playing on a press, you do need to have obviously a higher depth. There's no point playing on a press from like 20 depth. But you don't want to obviously be too crazy and play on like an 80 or anything like that. So 55 is a good number. Obviously, this formation is naturally with the two DMs a little bit more defensive. But obviously, that pressure just allows you to press in certain moments without being too overexposed. And then with the typical, we've gone for balance and direct passing when it comes to build-up play and chance creation. Of course, the direct passing is really important, especially in a formation like this. You know, of course, you could play with something like you know slow build-up and and you know possession or something like that. It doesn't quite work. It's then a bit too slow. It's already quite a defensive formation. It just takes you know it makes attacking difficult. Even for a good player, it makes attacking really really difficult. You know, you could try a combination of fast build-up and balance, but we found the fast build-up again just left you too exposed too much of the time, especially with a press. So we found the real, you know, the best balance was balance and direct passing. So obviously your attackers, especially that front four, you know, the two wide cams, central cam, the strikers, they're the ones that you really want to make running into, you know, into those dangerous positions. And that just allows you to have that balance of, you know, the natural uh, defensiveness of the formation, but then able to attack and sort of press in certain moments. And that's really what you have to do with this formation. You have to kind of go in certain moments, not all the time. It's not a formation where you can just attack constantly because it's naturally a little bit more defensive. And then pretty much the standard stuff at the bottom when it comes to the 60 width, the five players in the box, the three corners and the one free kicks. This is kind of what we like to go with with most of our formations. The 60 width obviously needs to provide some width in this formation. You know, you can't obviously play too narrow. Those wide cams, obviously you've got pace. You need to just offer a little bit of width just so not everything is too predictable and passing inside. And of course, the corners, the free kicks and players in the box. A lot of that is down to personal preference, but pretty much basic you know, and standard stuff is what we like to use. Now, before we continue, if you want us to make more videos like this one, then make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you comment below right now with any other thoughts and questions as this does go a long way to helping us out. So let's jump on into those instructions. So we'll start off top with the strikers. Of course, your strike is really, really important. We're going to use them on stay central and get behind. Of course, you need a quick striker. You need pace, of course, at this stage of the game. And of course, when you're going to be playing on a press, the, the other option that you could have is you could have the front four on stay forward. And that's going to make the press even more effective. We don't recommend doing that personally. It's not really what we like to do because we find that when you have the front four and stay forwards, 
and the, the you know the the two DMs and the back four, for example, are just on on balance. It creates like a big split. So that so then you have always playing sort of these massive long balls and twenty five yard passes just to try, try and connect the midfield to the front. So we don't recommend doing that, but it is something that does make the press more effective. So it's something that we'd like to experiment with in a really attacking formation. You know, when you're trying to you know get back into a game or something it works but just from the from the standard we don't think it really works too well then with the central cam of course he just needs to be on get into the box stick to position pretty much just the standard stuff just making sure he's getting into the box you know supporting the striker with extra runs in behind you know of course the ball falls to him quite a lot a lot of you know cutbacks is quite a good way to score in this in this formation so your cam is really important probably would say that your cam Probably needs to be your best player. Now, the player that you rely on, the player that you like the most, your best attacking player probably needs to play in this position because he does score a lot of goals, creates all the chances, really links between the midfield and the attack. So your best player needs to be in this cam position. And pretty much the same stuff when it comes to the wide cams. They need to be on getting to the box as well, just pretty much the standard stuff. We did like to use, uh, earlier in the year, we like to use free roam. We don't quite feel like that's really working too well at the moment. So we just want to stick to position, just to kind of really strengthen that passing game, just making sure that everyone's available for a pass. It's just kind of the better way to play this formation at the moment. Then when it comes to your two CDMs, we've got them on cut passing lanes and cover center. We do have them on stay back while attacking, although this isn't super relevant because obviously we've got the direct passing on. So they're going to kind of drift forwards a little bit anyway from time to time. But you do also want to make sure that you have two proper out and out DMs. We tend to sub Pyre off and we bring somebody else on. So we just feel like it's better to have two out and out DMs in this formation. Of course, you want to make sure that you've got players that are confident at sort of winning the ball back and not obviously pressing too high, not getting into too many attacking positions. You need to have guys that are able to sort of break the play up and really start your own counter attacks because that's kind of what you're going to do in this formation. You can do a lot of counter attacking, you know, you're not necessarily going to be on the front foot for the whole you know portion of the game. And then, of course, when it comes to the whole of the back four, you need them all on stay back while attacking. You know, you're really going to need that front four. It's going to do the bulk of your attacking, a lot of the legwork in midfield. So you really just want to make sure that that back four is on stay back while attacking. Just give you that solid foundation to work off. Stay back while attacking, of course, is even more important, especially the higher up you go in FIFA. You know, of course, when you're playing... Um, you know, maybe mid to low tier players, you can get away with playing balance, something like that. But of course, when you get up to sort of the sweats, you're playing that sort of sweaty top tier level. You've got to have everybody on stay back while attacking. It's just the way it is. So you can adjust some of these things depending on where your skill level is, where some of you guys are playing. And of course, your goalkeeper always wants to be on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. But that is it for our 4 2 3 1. And we really like this formation. It just had a really good blend of being able to like press in certain important moments not all the time because we don't like formations and tactics that press all the time we like to still be able to control the game and just press in certain moments but obviously that direct passing allowed us to create a lot of chances and the sort of natural defensiveness of the formation allowed us to be tough to break down so it really gave us a really nice balance so if you're someone that is struggling and just wants to try something new just to know just something a bit different this is really a great formation to start with if you're struggling you know just give it a try and, and it's just one of those formations it's kind of just a confidence builder it just gets your confidence back just so you can start getting some more positive results again so as we said early in the video if you want us to continue to make more videos like this one then we do need your support so make sure that you smash that like button make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notifications bell and also if you have any other questions you'd like us to answer make sure you join our discord the link to that is down in the description so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one